Hello friends, welcome to Friend of Health. Today I am going to continue mnemonic series. So today's mnemonic is all about vasculitis. So before going into the mnemonic, let us see some questions that had come for various competitive examination. Which of the following is a type of small vessel vasculitis? Option A is polyarthritis nodosa. Option B is microscopic polyangitis. C is giant cell arthritis. D is tachyasus arthritis. This is the question. Now we will move to next question. Which of the following is associated with vasculitis of medium sized vessel? Option A is classic polyarthritis nodosa. B is tuberous sclerosis, C is temporal arthritis and D is vaginous granulomatosis. Now let us see the classification of vasculitis. Many a times the question had come like which of the following is included in small vessel, which of the following is included in large vessel. So in order to make it simple, let us see the mnemonic because we get confused whether Kawasaki is included in large vessel or whether it is included in small vessel. So let us see how to make it simple and what is the mnemonic for this. So this is the mnemonic. So large vessel vasculitis includes giant cell vasculitis and tachyasus disease. So who is tachyasus? We all know he is a famous ophthalmologist from Japan. His name is Takeyasu. With all due respect to him, let us uh, take a mnemonic called giant Takeyasu. So, this we can just imagine Dr. Takeyasu as giant. So, this large vessel vasculitis include giant cell vasculitis and Takeyasu vasculitis. So, giant Takeyasu is a mnemonic for large vessel vasculitis. Now, coming to the medium cell vasculitis, what are the classification we have? We have Kawasaki disease, PAN that is polyarthritis nodosa and Burgers disease. Now, how to remember this? Okay, this is a mnemonic for medium cell. Imagine there is a burger and there is a kebab and one medium sized pan. So, a pan with burger and kebab. So, what is the so that means we have Kawasaki disease, polyarthritis nodosa of our pan, burger means our burger disease. So, under medium cell we have Kawasaki disease, polyarthritis nodosa and burger disease. Now, let us move to the question. So, what are the conditions that are included in small vessels? So, now we read about large vessel vasculitis and small, uh, medium cell vasculitis. So, all other types of vasculitis are included in small vessels. Small vessel vasculitis. Now, let us move the question which I have told initially which of the following is a type of small vessel vasculitis so we will move from option d and so we will see from uh, last option so tachyasu disease so we learned about giant tachyasu giant tachyasu is included in large vessel and what about polyarthritis nodosa polyarthritis nodosa is included in medium vessel so what is the answer here answer is b microscopic polyangitis next one is which is associated with vasculitis of medium sized vessel classic PAN then uh, tuberous sclerosis temporal arthritis vagnus vagnus we know it is included in small vessel temporal arthritis also small vessel tuberous is also small vessel so what is the answer as we told earlier burgers and kebab in a pan so answer is A that is included in medium vessel vasculitis so that's the end of today's video. Thank you all. Stay tuned with our mnemonic series and also AIPGT mock test series. Whichever question that we have taken or high yield topics which are usually repeated for a competitive examination, various competitive examinations, 8 PSC, 8 UPSC. So keep watching. Take care.